Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the cyber world. Welcome to Optimistic Gaming. Today, we're going on an adventure through the stars for our, I guess you could say, pilot episode. Uh, let's jump in and I'll explain everything as we get started here. Uh, so I've already kind of made my own character here. Um, and I haven't started, we're going to do the tutorial level of Starbound. Um, because of the fact that I'm kind of nostalgic and I like keeping the protector uh, like items, I like getting the little cape, uh, I think at the end of the game I can do something with that broken sword, but I'm not sure because I've, I've played through the game once and I didn't, for some reason, I kept that sword through most of the game, but then for some reason I got rid of it somewhere near the end of the game, I don't know why. But then I got an NPC that said, oh, I can, you know, I'm learning how to fix broken protectorate gear. So that's what we're going to do. But anyways, so I am, for the purpose of this game, Optimus. And I said this, we can call this my, my pilot episode, because I'm not quite sure what all we're going to be doing with this channel yet. But I've had a dream for a long time. I've been I'm uh, I'm a let's play freak, and I love watching stuff like the Game Grumps, which is you know wonderful comedy piece um, in gaming. And I love stuff like you know some of the, the the big names, especially I love like Pro Jared and the Beard Bros and stuff like that. Um, and so I've had this idea for a long time, and I've been playing through Starbound a lot lately. So I want to give it a shot to try it for my first attempt. Um. And it's just my my attempt to have a little fun with this. Oh, I didn't get the the flower. Oh well. Uh, and I, I said we can consider this a pilot episode. I'm hoping to do a lot of these. But the point of this channel, if I can, if I get it up and running, if I can stay with it, which I really hope to, the point of this channel is going to be. I want to play games that, I say I, I can say nothing bad about. So even if it's a game that that is a little bit, like I I would like to do some games that are a bit more controversial even and basically play games to which I will I will say nothing bad about them to where the whole thing will just be the optimistic side of them I mean I'm sure there'll be moments if it if it's a game I actually don't care for that much where I might slip up here and there oh no what's going on what was that oh my gosh it's I've 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 seen enough anime to know what's going on here, but at the end of it, my hope is that I can bring some life to. I mean, this is a this is a common game. I'm, I'm going to be doing all kinds of games for sure. This is a very beloved game by me and by others. But I'm hoping that if I can really get into doing it right, I want to kind of show some love to games that maybe don't get a lot of love. Um, whether it's within my own friend group or just much love at all. Because um, I seem to always like, not always, but I seem to like the games that other people don't care as much about. Um, off the top of my head, I actually can't name any as of right now. That That's one of the things I want right there, is that cape. If you don't do the tutorial level, you don't get the wonderful little torn protector cape. You'll never get one again in this game if you don't do it. Everything else, except for the flower, I forgot the stupid flower, but that's okay. Um, but I really like, I, I don't know why, but I love this cape. Uh, and so as of right now, there's not really an agenda yet. Um, I don't have set time frames as to how long episodes are going to be or how many episodes I'm going to record at once. I plan on recording multiple episodes at once just because I... I, you know, a lot of places I, I, I follow, you know, guys like Game Grumps and Progeo, like I mentioned earlier, I know that they do multiple sessions in one sitting, and that seems to be a really good method, um, especially since I'm not going to be able to sit down and record every single day, and it's not even something, I'm not even sure yet if I'm going to upload every single day. I have, at the, at the time of me recording this, I have zero subscribers on a YouTube channel. I technically, I haven't even actually made the, the YouTube channel for this page yet. I have my personal one, um, but I don't actually have any followers or anything like that. So it's one of those things where I'm not going to put a huge level of effort into this yet. But 
I'm gonna be. This is kind of like my. This is my my. I'm popping my cherry here with this, right? This is my first ever recording. Uh, I did a. I did some some test recordings earlier. All I've been doing them all afternoon, getting programs to work right. Uh, I was having issues with recording. I'm hoping that with the rain, it's not going to be too taxing on the system because I was having some really bad frame rate issues, uh, and I might still. I'm pr like odds are, it's going to have some frame rate issues for a while until I actually get some quality recording gear, get a better computer. I've got an okay computer right now. I've got a kind of cheap recording uh, or recording uh, kind of cheap graphics card in it. Um, nice monitor, all that stuff, but like, overall, I don't have a great setup by any means. Um, and so I'm sure my first while I'm going to have some issues. I'm, I've never done this before. I've never done any kind of commentary before, so this is a, a new realm for me. And so I guess I'm, to, for anybody who's not played this, we'll, we'll kind of give you a, a, a clue as to what I'm doing right now. Um, on your starter planet, so if, if you read through the, the intro there, I'm, I'm supposed to be this protector and I'm a guardian of the galaxy kind of thing. Um, and everything obviously just got destroyed by some giant tentacle monster thingy. And at this point, my goal is unknown. I get a little quest, you know, I have my main quest I'm following up here. Uh, my main quest is just getting started. At this point, I'm still just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. And so my quest is explore the planet. Well, what, the starting planet of Starbound always has this big portal on it. Well, I need 20 of these guys, core fragments, to unlock it and go through that teleporting thing, which is my first goal for the game. Uh, and you can, they're found, they're core fragments, so they're found at the core of the world. It's really not worth it. That's really cool looking. I've never had that one before. Um, it's really not worth it to go all the way to the core at this early in the game when, if you can find even a single mine shaft, I should not be down here. There's a really big monster down here. There he is. Get out. Ah! We're gonna do that. Um, so, if I just run around the world like this, I'm finding them all over the place in these chests. And so, to anybody who's played Terraria, you'll obviously see some pretty big similarities, right? Um, and it's been compared to that a lot. I would say Starbound is kind of your middle ground between... Uh, I'm going to not say that statement in case anybody actually watches this. It's its own beast. It's really fun, though. It's got, it's got a bit of... Okay, I'll, I'll just say it. It's a mix between... Even though it predates it, no Man's Sky and Terraria. It's got that No Man's Sky um, procedural generation aspect to it, to where there are a lot of random procedurally generated worlds in this game. Hey, that worked. And you'll see that later, for sure. I'm really worried about this. I'm getting low on health, too. Uh, and it's one of the big shticks of this game is out to travel the universe to new planets to get new materials. So you start off on what's known as a gentle star system. You've got a nice gentle star. That your, the planets in this solar system are orbiting it. And gentle systems are easy systems. And then you can you upgrade what size star you go to as you get more and more equipment to be better and to be stronger. Ow. And so the next up is going to be a temperate star. That's nice. And then a radioactive star. And then a... What is it? Frozen star. And then a fiery star. 
Got him. Oh, there's all my core fragments that I need. Cool. Here we go. My scans indicate some sort kind of archaic energy source is on this planet. Um, it's all this like kind of just like a, a quick side note of the whole project I'm starting here. It's given me a good chance to get used to some things I don't like. I hate the sound of my voice. I don't know why. I feel like a lot of people do. I I especially do. And so starting a project where I have to constantly listen to myself talk is helping me come to terms with the fact that I don't like my voice and helping me get over the fact that I don't like my voice. That was a really small... I bet it continues on. Oh, okay. So at this point, I could keep exploring this this mining shaft, uh, and I might come back to it later. For, for right now, I really want to make some, some at least quote-unquote storyline pro- wow, storyline progress on this first episode. So I think we're going to run over to the outpost, and that is what, that's, that's ultimately where we're going. Ooh! Oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. I've gotta, I've gotta keep in mind the fact that I have a lot of hours invested in this game. Uh, I didn't want to do uh, any kind of a quote-unquote let's play on a game I didn't know that well. But the funny thing is, I've been playing this game for, like I said, quite a while. There's still a lot I don't know about this. Like, in my, my practice recordings, uh, I was trying to figure out how to excavate fossils. Because I had never done it before. And I finally, after, <laughs> like, four recordings... Oh, can I not get up here? Come on. After, like, four recordings... Screw it. I finally discovered what a fossil was... Which was an adventure in and of itself. And then I kind of started to excavate, but I, I did not figure out in the slightest how to excavate the, the, the fossil. Every single time I did it, apparently I broke the fossil as I tried to do it. And to, so even, even as of yet, uh, I have no clue how to do that. Um, I know there's stuff that you can do post-game in this that I have no clue what it is. I know... There are certain, you know, there's certain, like, like, stargates or something like that, like, you can find in systems after you've beat the game. I have found them before, but I have never actually done anything. I know you need what's called a vault key. I found the gates that need them, but I've never had a vault key before, because I think it's something you don't get until after you've beat the game. No clue what it's about, though. So, I feel like this is going to be a really good game for me to to start an adventure like this on versus something like Terraria. You know, I have... I think I'm approaching a thousand hours in Terraria, all the way back from the original, just 1.0, to when they started patching. Obviously, I've played all the patches. I've you know, done full playthroughs on all the patches. I still kind of suck at some of the stuff. I'm not actually that good of a boss fight kind of guy when it comes to Terraria. Um... I have beaten, somehow I've beaten the Moon Lord, uh, like legit. Well, kind of legit. Some people consider the minecart trick cheesing it. I minecarted the crap out of that. I had a minecart that went across my entire world to fight him, and I beat him. Um, apparently some people call like, think that's cheesing it. I don't, because I did it. Um... But other than that, like, I've never actually beaten a frozen moon or a pumpkin moon. Uh, and ironically, I've never beat Duke Fishron um, without getting uh, without weapons that are past him. I've beat him with Moon Lord with like Moon Lord weapons, but I've never beaten him with weapons that you're supposed to beat him with. So I don't know. That's a different game for a different time. But so at this point, like I said, we are heading to. This this gateway, this this archaic energy source that's on this planet, which is always this very big extrav extravagant I can't talk either uh, gateway that I think looks really cool, and that will take us to what's known as the outpost. And I think we're going to go all the way, get the entire outpost section done, and then I'll stop this specific recording. I'm gonna do today specifically while I have time. I'm gonna do as many sessions as I can get away with. 
Um, I have some kind of plans today, but I don't know when. Um, oh, here it is. All right, this is the gateway. So these kind of areas are interesting. You cannot break anything from these areas. They usually have a, there it is. Like they have a, an area around them that is unbreakable, and that's what the blue signifies. So you're not allowed to break anything, and you can't set anything on them. These are indestructible areas. There we go. Required fragments. I'll patch it through to you now. Activate. So that's where we're going. To it looks like the same exact thing, right? One of these days, I would like to figure out how to like. I have to get some better hardware, but I want to start. Like, if I if I start getting any kind of an audience with this, and any kind of good system to where I do this rather frequently, I would love it if I could start figuring out how to like stream. I've never done streaming either. Um, stuff like that. I think like I've always been interested by it. So it'll be interesting if I can ever get to a point where I can do that. That looks odd. All right, so this, I should explain all this. This is the outpost. It is supposed to, it's kind of the, the lore of it. It is a, a shopping center. It's a mall of sorts. Um, they never, ex I don't think they ever explicitly say if this is for like refugees, because I guess technically I'm a refugee in a way. I mean, my entire pl uh, earth was just destroyed. Um, that is exactly what you actually saw. Uh, in that intro, that was Earth, and Earth was just completely obliterated. Uh, and so, okay, so explaining things as we go through here. This guy has quests. We like quests. He's not the only one, but I like his quests specifically, and I'll explain why it's got to do with these guys. It's, it, it, I have a feeling anybody who has, or anybody who's watching me right now, has played this before and so obviously would already know what's coming but I'm going to talk as if you don't know what's going on here because I don't know what's going to happen with this channel maybe somebody will be watching this who's never watched it before so I'm skipping by everything for now I'll, ex I'll kind of walk through and explain everything in a bit because for right now we're trying to find the source of the mysterious messages Ooh, I have a, that's a blink cool so mm -hmm. Usually, I'm gonna prep, I'm gonna stop here before I get over to that guy. This whole area ahead of me is empty if you're playing from scratch, but because I have already beat the game with one of my existing characters, a lot of stuff that would happen over here is already set up. So these are all guys you would find throughout your main quest, and they all have things they'll do for you. So this guy like blesses you, he gives you a random buff. This girl, I'm not gonna talk to her right now because there's no way I can do her quest. But she sends you to go fight in a coliseum, and if you win, you get a special, you know, a powerful weapon and like a trophy for doing it, kind of thing. This is the main lady. Now, oh, here we go. We're gonna have to sit through this entire conversation. Uh, you can read this as I'm talking. I'll explain a little bit about what you would be seeing. This gateway in front of me. I could go fight the final boss right now, which I don't actually like the idea. Um. I don't know, uh, maybe I do. I don't know how I feel about the fact that like, this portal's already opened because I have completed it in a different character. Um, my, my late game character, Quay. That was just kind of a random Florin that I, I created. Um, beat the game with him actually earlier today uh, on this specific playthrough. And unlocked that gate to do it, and that's where the final boss is at. Obviously, I'm not going to go there right now. Um, but usually it's a closed gateway with six in insets in it because she's going to explain to you that you have to go find the artifacts to put in those slots. And the characters that are ra standing around this area are the characters that you interact with on those specific quests. It's always the same characters. They're all the different races. Um, and I didn't explain anything about the races because I already had I just made a human for this one. Because I've never been a human before, actually. Everything I've always done is like, oh man, I could be a robot, I could be a bird person, I could be literally a walking, you know, humanoid made of plasma. It's like a walking sun. Why would I want to be a human? But I decided to go for human on this one just because I've never been a human and I had never seen their spaceship. So, man, that, I hope that music isn't incredibly loud on, on the recording. 
Um, I have no clue how this is going to turn out. Either, because... This is the first time I've ever recorded. I've never done a I've never done a screen capture. I've never done a let's play. I've th I'm I'm a complete and total virgin to this kind of stuff. So going through my head as I'm doing this, I have all kinds of words like, oh, I hope this is gonna come across good. Oh man, I, I like, my frame rate text there, are just in play, the frame rate on that is gonna be horrible. So I have a feeling when when like scrolling back a little bit when you first see that shrine in the video, it's really not gonna come out that well at all. I'm kind of worried about that. I was having some issues recording. Um, but I was trying to record it at 6, yeah, like this portal. I, I have a feeling that whenever I move around, it's going to really lag out. Because it kind of drops a little bit on this. Alright, so we talked to her. And every time you talk, they'll tell you what your reward is. If you... Or, I know that's quest complete. Okay, so I did that quest. Exclamation point over her head meant that she had a quest. And so I have to go to Penguin Pete. And so there's other characters over here, guys like this. I'm gonna actually do this one now, just because it's nice. He always wants the same, he wants like an artifact, an, an item, an object from like each of the races that you have to go find. And so talking to him doesn't really spoil anything. But so I think there are six races in total. These are the Florins. They, they all have their own, like, schemes as well, which are always really, really cool and witty. The Florins are Amazonian warriors. They're plant people. They're made of plant, and they're the more warrior-esque. These are uh, avian. He's a big avian. Usually, most of them are, are more skinny like me, but I, I really like him. He's always been my favorite. Um, and they are obviously bird people, and they are very Egyptian-based. Um, they like to live in deserts. And there we go. See, I have... Rage, which I think boosts my power. Um, heading over here. Ah, see that that that's ten frames. That or the recording is gonna hate that. Uh, this is Hyatol. Hyatol. They are water dwellers, but they're they're my f I, I, one of my favorites. I love I like them a lot because they are classic Japanese. And modern Japanese, they're class, they're, you know, they're the ch classic samurai. And so half of the things you'll find of them in the world are, you know, pagoda, esque. But then they also have like modern, you know, K-pop level, like very technologically advanced as well. These are the apex. They are monkeys. They're apes. Um, and they're another. Ooh, that's loud too. They're another interesting one because they are very science, and they, they are kind of the actually the epitome of modern day humans. Um, half of what they have is very science based. You know, you would find them, you would find you know research labs and facilities, and even ah, I'm sorry. Ten frames. There we go. Gosh, that's terrible. Um, science labs, mutants, monkeys, and stuff like that, and then, but the other half of it is, which is where she's from, is, like, rebellion. Uh, like, World War One era, like, like, fighting. Um, you'll find rebel bases with their, 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 their defying, um, I can't think of what, the, what their, their, their mean, their main character's name is. Um, but then, the third one you'll find of them on their just regular housing is very like 1950s, 1960s living. I love them. They're really cool. And this is the glitch. I think they are the most paradoxical, which is one of the things I like about them the most. They are robots, literal. They are just plain up robots. They're medieval though. Everything you find of them is castle structures and medieval. It's I I love the idea behind that. Um, okay, so... Oh, I have to find Penguin Pete. Got it. Um, I don't know why I like that so much, but I really like that idea. And then I'm a human. The humans are kind of funny in the fact that... Oh, this is Penguin Pete. Um, we're just going to accept this. I have to go do something, yeah. Um, the humans are always hippies. Whenever you find them. At least I, I, I've only found them in one style of housing which is um, hippie caravans on, on random worlds. 
They they're camping out. They have literal like literally they have minivans, campfires. They all talk like hippies. I love that. It's hilarious to me. Uh, I've never found them in any other setting, so I don't know if they have anything else to them. And the final race, I'm looking to see if there are any at the outpost. I'm not seeing any right now. I mentioned them a little bit ago. They are, what are they called? Nova Kid is what they're called. Um, they are the epitome of if you were to take, like, a star and put it in human form. Man, my frame is really, my frames are, t like, dropping right like crazy here. Um, I'm really worried about that. But the Nova Kid are walking balls of plasma, walking humans of plasma. Um, I'm trying to think. Their faces kind of remind you of, of some of the, the, uh, second level, like, second generic Power Rangers to where the, the Power Rangers, as they would start to evolve in later times after like the early 90s and stuff like that they would start having different shapes like geometric shapes on as their masks uh, that's kind of what the Nova kids are like they have all these different geometric shapes on their faces but they're made of pure neon hued bodies and they are uh, classic like cowboys and Indians Western or cowboys and Native Americans sorry cowboys and Native American Indian gosh dang it I keep on saying Indian whatever um, they, they're classic, like, Western. And so they, they did a really good job of kind of making all of them very unique and very cool. So, yeah, I've, I'm just looking at my ship now. I've never seen the ship. I like it a lot. It's very Star Wars. Very Star Wars-esque. It looks like, um, I can't think of the name of the ship. It's from Knights of the, Round, or Knights of the Old Republic 2, when you are on the Paragus mining facility. It looks like the ship that comes to the to dock with you with the I don't know the, the burnt flesh dude I haven't played that game in so long I can't remember names uh, but that I think this is gonna be I think I'm gonna stop the recording here for this session um, I didn't even think to time this one out I have no clue how long the re this session was but I feel like this is a good spot to stop it I'm not going to I'm not gonna say whether or not other sessions will be this long um, I don't know yet. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it time-based or if I'm going to do it objective-based. I don't know yet, but I think this is a good place to stop it. So if you happened to see this, uh, which I, I'll be fully, I'm not trying to be humble or anything, I don't expect anybody to watch this, except maybe a couple friends whom I forced to watch this because I'm going to nag them enough. Hi, Isaac and Xander, I'm talking to you too. Um, but if you're watching this, Thank you so much. Uh, this is my first ever attempt at this, and I I actually really enjoyed it. This this was a very fun experience for me. Uh, I really plan on doing a lot more of this. So I will see you, ladies and gentlemen of the cyber world, in the next video.